sky's the limit for this kid. Look at him, I said at 16, 17, I knew he was gonna be something big. Five years later, and he's already ranked number eight in the world. That's in the world in kickboxing. Glory kickboxing, he's ranked number eight. The sky's the limit. Representing Canada, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Josh Johnson. <laughs> The consensus amongst kickboxing and mixed martial arts pundits, such as mixed martial arts blogger Jeremy Brand, is that Josh Johnsey is a 22-year-old kickboxing phenom. His family is his backbone, support system, and they make up his team of trainers. Johnsey fights out of Surrey and signed with the most prestigious kickboxing promoter in the world, Glory Kickboxing. Though he was born overseas in the UK, Josh is proudly a British Canadian. His family is his support system and make up his team of trainers. My dad's my trainer. My, my, the whole family is, is very goal orientated and, and is, we're always working towards a goal for ourselves but also for each other, right? We, always, we want to help each other out and that's what um, our family's really good for that and it's just so supportive. I'd, I've, I've, there's never been a time where they said, well maybe you should stop kickboxing and consider a job somewhere else. No, you know, it's, it's never been like that. It's like they know I want to kickbox so everyone puts uh, puts effort into helping me make sure I can get into that, you know, make that dream happen. The Johnsey family owns WKX Gym in Surrey, where Josh, his father, and older brother Jay train every day. Having essentially grown up in a gym, Jay feels he has a competitive advantage over his opponents. If you start at two years old and then you're bad, then something's wrong. Right? Like if you're not good after that, you know, after that many years of training, then obviously starting as young was good. Jeremy Brand agrees that Josh's background has been an important key to his success. It's like growing up in a family of mechanics or a family of teachers. You know, you're going to be, that's going to be in your system. You're going to have that in your system. And if you're in the gym 24 hours a day, you're growing up, you're a little kid, you're walking in the gym, you see your dad training guys, it's going to rub off on you and you're just going to want to continue to kick pads your whole life. His father, Vincent, was a professional kickboxing champion in Macau. Hong Kong and Britain during the 1980s. You know, we're supporting whether he's lost or win, wins, you know, either way. Um, when we know where we, we are, we know we're not going to be running off, you know. Uh, it's, you know, sometimes trainers get a little bit emotional. We don't have to deal with all that because it's us. Maybe if you were the trainer who hasn't been at that level or hasn't taken a fight at that level, it's all quite new for them as well. So you get all hyped up and excited and maybe they make mistakes too, right? But my dad doesn't. Vincent was a world champion, and Josh's older brother, Jay, is a former amateur fighter as well. He helps out his little brother almost every day by holding pads for him and by encouraging Josh to go harder. We start off with like three rounds of pads for when we're like eight weeks or seven weeks yeah. out, and then go to four rounds, then five rounds, and just the pace picks up, and like basically if after pads, I should be sweating too. If, he, if I'm not, then he wasn't going hard enough. Although Josh has been very successful so far as a professional fighter, having fought in three glory events and standing undefeated, hardly anyone from where he's from knows his name. I'm still a small name. Um, I'm growing, but it's still a small name, right? Um, and I don't think many people in Surrey or Vancouver or anything really know that much about me because kickboxing is illegal in Canada. Well, you don't hear a lot about him locally. In terms of media, I mean, he hasn't had a lot of spotlight on him yet. He should. He definitely deserves it because he's up there, but he hasn't had a lot. And at 21 years of age, it's only going to go up. Josh went to Holland to train with some of the best fighters in the world. He came back mentally tougher and better equipped to begin his rise to the top. He worked. He worked as a plumber, as apprentice for about 10 months. I got to find my own way as well, right? So um, plumbing is good money and... You know, I, I had to do it, and I saved up a lot of money. At five o'clock in the morning, going to work, saving his money, and going to spend a year in Holland, you know, on his own, without us, and go and train with the best. Following a dream, right? It's, it's what I want to do. I realized that being here isn't the top level of kickboxing. I mean, you can't pass that up. If you're in Holland and you're training with the best in the world, you're going to take that in and also become what you can be to be the best in the world. Vancouver, even Canada, is just not top level kickboxing. So I went to a place where I could be ahead of everybody here, right? If you can get ahead, why not do it, right? Why stay 
stay with the herd when you can become the leader. And when I came, every time I went to Holland, I came back and I won fights here. While life as a professional athlete seems like a lot of glitz and glamour, Josh has earned everything that he has. He sacrificed his adolescent years in order to develop his skills. Didn't have a regular young person party life, I guess. You can't party too much, especially when you're training, you wait till after. People don't realize how much sacrifice people, uh, athletes put in. Um, they sacrifice a lot. It looks, you know, everything looks nice and the attention is cool and all that kind of stuff, but uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard work. Staying on the, you know, having to, if you're not already at the top, trying to reach the top is not only difficult physically, but it's scary as well. Josh is only 22 years old, but by now, members of his camp feel they've seen enough to know that he's going to go far, and they've got lofty expectations for him. To be a champion in glory is, is very attainable for Josh Johnson. Five years should be up at the top, I would think, by now. It should be, you know, definitely a force to be reckoned with, be the, one of the guys that people want to fight. Will he have a world championship at that time? Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully he'll get one by then. That's a goal, right? Yeah, that's one of his. That's one of his big goals. I want to. I want to put my place as a, you know, as one of the legends of, of the sport. You know, I mean, I look up to guys like Raymond Decker and uh, and Rob Carmen and Hoost and all those type of guys. And I want to be in the same sort of idea as them. I mean, these guys are all Dutch guys and stuff like that. And I want to be maybe you know, the only English, or, you know, Canadian guy that that made a big difference for this sport and that kids like how I was, how I am, look up to. You know, they're watching videos of them and they you know, they want to be like they want to fight like them, they want to do things like them, they want to train with those guys, you know, because they, that's the goal you want to, you see guys and reaching a certain, a certain goal in kickboxing, a certain goal in a sport, you know, and these are like the Michael Jordans of kickboxing, and that's what I, that's what I want to be. Don't